So you installed Silverblue 32, and the first thing you want to do is to update. Like you do in every other Linux. But unlike any other Linux, everything is quite different here. I'm going to start the update with something that will seem very weird to you, and that is opening GNOME software. It may be awful everywhere else, but theoretically it should work flawless in an OS tree system. So I'm going on updates page, and what we are interested here is the OS updates. On top we have the additions that are new packages to be installed. Then we have some removals. We have the actual updates, and if we scroll to the very bottom, we will see some downgrades too. One thing to notice here is that all transactions are atomic and safe, which means either everything is completed, or nothing is done. But everything extends beyond that. Even in an upgrade, for example from Silverblue 32 to 33, it is virtually impossible for a transaction to fail or at least it will never leave you with an unbootable system. But let's close all those and open a terminal. We don't really need it for an update, I just want to show you a few things. Typically, we start with RPM Austri status, to get the basic information about our system. First we have the state which is idle, meaning there are not running transactions. Then is the automatic updates field that is disabled. But let me quickly show you how we can edit policies. We want to open the RPM Austri configuration daemon, that is under etc directory. Now we see that automatic updates are set to none, so we can uncomment this and for example set them to check. Which means it can just check for new updates. Then we need to reload the RPM Austri daemon. And run status again. And now we see that automatic updates are on check mode, but we also had to enable the timer, which I didn't. Basically I'm not going to bother with all those right now, so I will revert everything back. I just wanted to quickly show you how about it works. On the next episode I will show you how we can even enable automatic updates staging on background. Reload the service again. Clear everything. And back to status. The second we are interested at, is the actual deployment. This bullet tell us that is the active deployment, but since we come from a new installation, we only have a single image anyway. And the third is the commit we are currently at. Basically OS tree is a git like file system, so if you're looking for a true rolling release Linux, it is not Arch Linux. Silverblue is the pure thing, and I will expand on another episode. Okay, to finally make an update, we say, RPM Austri update, and notice that staging the updates doesn't need root privileges. Also, the correct command is RPM Austri upgrade. Update is an alias. My bad, sorry. Another thing is that the packages were downloaded already. That was a behind the scenes job of GNOME software. I think. Anyway, update is done, so let's clear. And run status again. And now we have two deployments. On bottom is our current and on top is called the pending deployment, and we can use it after we reboot. It also says the difference from the current, with 212 upgraded packages, 24 downgraded, 2 removed, and 15 added. Okay, let's get crazy! When you boot on your normal Linux, you get a menu to pick the kernel. When we boot in Silverblue, we get a menu to pick the deployment. Since we have two deployments, we can either boot on the image with the updates, or we can boot on our current image without any updates. I'll open a file manager to quickly show you how that works. And I know I'm now jumping from one topic to another without explaining anything in depth, but these are just intro videos, and I will go in detail in dedicated episodes. So, on slash OS tree, we have the boot directory that has the boot configurations, and basically the boot links to deploy folder. That is the directory that Silverblue deployments are physically stored, so we see our two deployments. Anyhow, I'm going to close this and finally reboot. 
By the way, there is a way to mount a pending deployment without rebooting. But at the moment is highly unstable, and it is the only way to destroy a silver blue really. Okay, so we now are on grub menu, and we basically have two entries. The first entry is our top of the list deploy with the updates, and it is indexed as zero. The second entry is the original deploy before the updates, and it is indexed as one. We have two more entries that are identically labeled, that are useful when we are doing layering, but in this case it's just a bug. But that's the entry we want to boot, and if we press E to go on edit mode, we'll see that it boots the deployment from the OS tree directory I showed you before. Anyway! Escape and go! Very well! Now we see our two deployments again. This is called the active and is indexed as 0, and that's the rollback and is indexed as 1. As I told you before, OS tree is a git-like file system which means it works like a copy on write, which means that deploy 0 only keeps the changes from deploy 1, to save some space. If we want to see what are those changes, we can do, RPM Austri database, difference, and we want to compare this commit with this commit. And we'll see what has been added, what has been removed, what has been updated etc. OS tree alone isn't really a package manager, but a tool to manage version file system trees. In Silverblue they have added to it RPM capabilities, that's why it can do stuff like those. Ok, now, by default Silverblue will keep the last two deployments which is enough for the most of the cases. That means if we do a new commit, the deployment one will be removed. But let's suppose we want to keep it. What we can do is to pin it. So, sudo austri admin, and pin one. So now it will tell us that the deployment one is pinned, and if we go on status, we will see this message again. Obviously, pinning a deployment is meant to use for short term, and we really don't want to end up with 100 pinned images, and 200 terabytes disk space but we can do if we want. Now, if we want to restore deployment 1, we can do RPM Austri and rollback. That will remove deployment 0, and deployment 1 will become the active, and the only one really. If we want to remove this to free some space, we can do RPM Austri cleanup, and hyphen R, which means rollback. But I imagine it won't work because it is pinned, so deployment's unchanged, as I told you so. But if we unpin it, sudo austri admin pin, and unpin one, and try again to clean up the rollback. This time we'll remove it, and it will save us one gigabyte of space. One last RPM austri status, and now we will have a single deployment, exactly as we started but fully updated. So. I'm closing this, and I'll see you on the next episode.